Hi folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. It's a nice pleasant drink today. Watermelon fresca. <clears throat> okay. I can't eat I like to have uh, agua leche um, banana fresca, I think. My Spanish is bad. I like those. It's basically it's a kind of uh, fresca with made out of banana milk. I really enjoy that. Okay, old school prepper. This is a VR for her. There's five crappy items of preparedness for beginner preppers always buy. Let me find her channel. Let me show you where she's at. Oh, have it upside down. <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't that smart. I'm stupid and poor. I just have a IQ little under 215. I'm either a really powerful super genius or I'm an idiot. And I take two different tests because a lot of people look at me and I think, oh God, I'm nuts. Could be. Okay, and there's Old School Prep on Martha, right there, and that's her video, and I want to get that better, on a pocket boxes. Okay, you can see that. Thank you for the shout out, Martha. Now let me shut this off. Okay. You check out all these people's channel. Why I don't like, I always comment, I'm not 12 years old. A lot of mystery boxes. I have a list right here. Five crappy things beginner preppers shouldn't waste their money on. Number three is mystery boxes. You get a surprise box. A whole bunch of stuff. It's a con. All right? Don't do it. Go to a thrift store. You Find better stuff. Or I'll ask them go out and I'll take you to the hardware store. We'll make better stuff. Ever made a flamethrower? Okay. Mystery boxes are fine if you're 12 years old. It's like opening a little gift. It's like a lot of these. This is why I don't really do a lot of unboxing. It's like opening a little Christmas gift and you're 12 years old and you show your friends. I don't do that. I'm a grouchy old man. Okay. Number one thing I really hate, and a lot of preppers do it all the time, constantly, if they run out of material and don't know what the hell to talk about. All right. Flashlights. Okay. I got knocked in the face by a little old lady last rush around Christmas. She was freaking out. We're not going to survive. Blah, blah, blah. And she punched me across the face. And if anybody remember, I had my eye dotted out pretty well. Broke my glasses too. Okay, enough with the flashlights. Grow up. Number two, pain in the butt. Crappy thing. Batman and the boondocks or water filters. Get a good water filter, preferably from a trusted company. I showed a lot of people on water stuff. They're handy. Know who's making them. Make sure you get the right kind. If you don't trust it, throw in chemical taps. Another thing, know your water source. There's a lot of water you cannot drink. If the water has blue-green algae, if you see dead skeletons around it, it has arsenic. All right, or uranium or a whole bunch of things. This water is fine, but I'm getting bone cancer. Something's falling off my teeth. Yeah, right. Or better yet, let's drink pool water. Again, number two that I really hate, water filters. Get the right kind. Don't get trust your life on a life straw or any kind of straw bit. Or, this one works wonderful. I don't trust nobody. And a lot of you guys 
or using the water filters wrong. Well, we put this ground and green water into the bag and voila, it comes out pure. No, it doesn't. Wake up. All right. Number four that I really hate. And I'm not 12 years old. Our pre-made survival kits. Yes, if you buy our survival kits, you get these little eight ounce bags of water. Uh, what? And these wonderful nutritional food blocks. I feed my cows that. Uh, same company. We just wrap it up and call it uh, food blocks for humans. We also feed cattle. No, 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 no. If I'm making a, a survival kit, I'll make it myself. All right, pocket, regular size. I don't put in the kitchen sinks and I don't multiply. One item, one purpose. Multitask it, but one item. That's my second one, number five. Yep, number five. <clears throat> Fire kits, pre-made. Really hate those with a passion. Okay, you got to keep it simple, folks. If you get a box and you pay $26, I got a stick and a rope and a little block and I'm supposed to rub it and make fire. After hours, he didn't make fire. He wasted $26. I took him over to the hardware store, picked up a pine board, cut it up in three different pieces. We made fire in about 15 minutes. Okay? Old school knowledge, know what he's doing. Not wasting his time on. And this fire kit has a lighter, a magnifying glass, a ferro rod, another ferro rod. Okay, Uncle Alan keeps it simple. Uncle Alan's tired and it's wet, and I'm fed up. Railroad flare and a half pint of high octane gas. Instant fire all the time. All right, I don't screw around. All right, if I want to make a fire, hey, pint of gas or half pint of gas and a road flare. Beat that. All right, simple as pie. Keep it simple. Food buckets. Me and Gil was on this rant a couple of weeks ago. You could check out Captain Patton's Family Compound on this. I really hate the pre-market high-tech food buckets. A lot of them are poor quality. Some of them are very good. Other of them are crap. Okay. And that, that's, I know I went over five, but four and five. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all the same. Uh, mystery boxes, Bible kits, fire kits, they should be combined into one. And then I got high-end high-tech food buckets, that should be number four. Number one that drives me nuts. It gotta be a black gun, Uncle Al. This Wonder Nine's wonderful. Okay, enough of it. Uncle Al's old school. I'm not going to fight you. I'm tired, I'm old, and I'm pissed. I'm going to kill you. I'll give you a warning. You pass a certain point, you don't have a head anymore. And if you want to tangle with Uncle, fine. Okay, a lot of people don't understand old school bayonet training. Okay, once you find out that your kidney is sticking out of your body at the end of a 10-inch bayonet, and some guy's poking holes into you, and your friend's like, let him go, man, and your head's f head flies off, I'm old school. If I want to hurt people, I would. All right? That my favorite weapon used to be a katana, but it's too light. So I switched over to a Chinese war sword or Dao Dao. An old school one, not the cold steel one. Cold steel one to me, it's a little bit too light and a little bit too short. I like something with a little heft. I use both hands so I could take off arms, legs, and heads or horses' heads or anybody else parts of bodies. All right, I'm not a nice guy when you rile me up to a point. Okay, not playing games, 
A lot of people laugh at old Uncle Al. You know what my hobby is? Trying to find number fours that were converted into hunting rifles. We convert them into fake number fives, jungle carbines, and put a 10-inch bayonet on it. I have 10 rounds of 303 British. At 50 feet or 50 meters, I can still take off somebody's head. And if I feel frisky enough, I'm going to do some shish kebabbing. <clears throat> so don't get like crazy. I have a uh, AK. I have a wonderful AR. Fine. I have an FNL. Fine. I'll just stay behind something that's bulletproof and pick you off with a number 3 by 10 scope until your head explodes. And I said, I have a new AK. I have an AR. I have an FNL. Okay? I'm calm. Don't play fair. I'll shoot you in the back of the head. And when the cops come, I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I have brain damage. And if they really push it, well, there's a few things I'm going to can do. And he'll get away and he'll just put me in a hospital and nursing home. Okay? I'm cold-blooded. Right? Those are the five crappy things every be beginner prepper should not waste. Another rule of thumb, don't mess with old, angry old men who's about to die. They have nothing to lose. So think about it. You're young and you're a white guy screaming, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And making this a power symbol into the Hitler salute. Don't do it. Go home. Think about it. If you want to protest, that's not a problem. If you want to be a dumbass, you want to die a dumbass. Bye, folks.